Good morning, everyone. GVids here, back with another morning fishing show. We are in our local city today, just hitting up our local fishing spot, one of our, well, at least my favorite fishing holes for sure. I come here an awful lot. Um, we have Rod 1 with the, uh, just a, a sardine I picked up from the grocery store that's uh, already in the water and then rod two which is in my hand we're just going to be using some good old-fashioned hook and worm um, i actually don't have any live minnows today which normally i do like using um, but let's just get this worm out there and see what we're going to pull in from the, our spot today and uh, yeah i also bought a new scale so we're going to test that out if we catch any fishies and uh, we're gonna go from there. It's a lot better of a scale. Uh, this one, it's got those like the vice grips kind of thing, and then it weighs it all in one go. Uh, instead of my other scale, it had this tiny ass. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh yeah, we got a fish on. Oh right on. Not too long at all. Nice. We got a little fighter out there. Uh, he's giving me some shakes. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little catfish. Uh, I'm just using my light action rod today. Uh, I figured why not if I catch any big fish on it, just give me some fun. Uh, this thing is actually fighting pretty good. We got a uh, uh, 12 pound braided line on. It's definitely overkill, um, but I definitely like using this uh, braided line and uh, I have no problems catching fish with it. So if they can see it or not, I haven't had any issues. Uh, I know a lot of people think that they can see the braid and they may not hit as much. Um, I don't use any leaders or anything like that, just straight braid. I absolutely love it. And we got ourselves a gorgeous little channel catfish. Look at this little guy. If he wasn't out of my dirty ass river here, he would be a good meal for sure. Uh, something like this size out of a great lake or just a cleaner body of water. Um, I would most certainly keep it, throw it over a bed of rice and uh, makes a tiny, uh, it's a tiny ass little hook in here. Come on little fella. Give me my hook back. There we are. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you'd make a nice little meal. I am going to throw this guy back. We're just going to weigh him just for shits and giggles. Um, this is my new scale here. He's not a very big guy, obviously, but we're gonna weigh him up anyways Just to see what this little dude's gonna weigh out to and of course this thing takes forever to turn on It's my first time using it But it's definitely a lot better than my last one I had and there we go now We can weigh and everything can I get in there close enough one point? I can't see the points from here uh, probably on the bigger screen you will, but hey, that's not bad. Just a pounder, a little pounder, perfect meal. i get this guy back in the water so he can grow a little bit bigger. It is extremely slippery and mucky, so I built myself a uh, little deck here <laughs> out of sticks so I could uh, not slip into the water when I'm going into the mud. And let's make it up. All right, let's get these lines rigged back up with a new worm and uh, toss back out there and see what we can get. All right, what a beautiful day absolutely love these nice days not too much wind holy shit we got a nice little bass out there jumping and holy oh it's a nice little fighter all right we'll get this one on the scale too and see what it's gonna weigh this is a nice little fish for sure give me a good little fight i just like i said we just got the light action rod on but that's all right get down to my little deck here see holy hell look at all the birds coming in these are Canadian geese. There's tons of them around here. Just coming in for a little landing as we're going to land our fish. That's pretty cool. Good timing. Oh, nice bass. All right. This is a nice smallmouth bass. Can't go wrong with that at all. I got a really small hook on. I can barely even grab it with my damn hands. Yeah, I can't get it with my hands. Got to get the pliers out. But yeah, we're just using a small little hook, hook and worm, uh, nothing too fancy dancy, and that's a beautiful little smallmouth bass. Let's get this thing on the scale, uh, let's just see what it's going to weigh. Uh, there we go, it turns on a lot faster once you've used it once already, that's kind of good to know. And just another pounder, 1.5, that's not bad, not bad at all. I really like this scale, it's super easy, uh, good on the fish. And uh, we can uh, get everything all up in there in one go without uh, having the fish out of the water for too long. So I really like that new scale. I'm glad I grabbed that. It's actually a Temu purchase. 
And let's get this bass back in the water so hopefully he can grow nice and big and someone else can have a good day catching them too. I hope you guys enjoy these fishing videos. I really do enjoy making them. Ah, shit, we're all caught up on the ground. Ah, that's all right. I'll deal with that snag after. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end her here. I hope you had a wonderful day. And keep your lines tight, your rods up, and we'll catch you on the next one.